Today, we'll be ranking the most powerful weapons in Skibidi Toilet history. The rules are simple. How much damage can this weapon inflict at its full power, and how important is it in the series? Then, we'll put them in their tiers. The rankings go from S tier, a titan killing technology, to E tier. Spoiler alert, it's Plungerman's Plunger. Oh, uh, one more thing. I have two guests with me, our Chief Clockman and Unique TV. Okay, without further ado, let's get to ranking. The first weapon we have here is the shield. So, uh, what do you all think about this one? Yeah, the shields we've seen so far are really broken, considering the fact they're completely made of raw energy, which makes them almost impenetrable. And they have been used in different occasions. Take Titan Cameraman, for example. It's been part of his signature move and serves as a really potent defensive attribute. I mean, really, it protected him from the acid launchers from the military Skabidi, and also in episode 54 where the acid kamikaze fell right on top of them. He did take some damage, but due to the shield, he survived it. Anyways, this weapon should be placed at A tier, or maybe higher. Yeah, well said, Unique TV. I totally agree on this one. I mean, there's even a situation where the shield was used as an offensive weapon by the camera titan in the multiverse. Ultimately, I believe it solely depends on the energy and battle IQ of the user to create a perfect defensive shield in battle. So, I think A tier it is. Hmm, really good detail there, but still, I believe the fate of the ranking depends on the user's energy. Like, for example, the one in the multiverse would be placed higher than that of the original due to the difference in overall energy output and reserves. But since we are taking the shield in overall, I guess it's safe to say it deserves a tier. Alright, what about the arm cannons? The cannons are kind of a basic tool, or should I say gun, a titan should have. Some of them release constant energy that is massive, while some simply one-shot their enemies. When it comes to how much damage it can cause, well, I think it still depends on the user. Also, it is worth mentioning that some cannons possess different attributes. With this, what rank do you guys think this should go? I'd prefer C tier since it's pretty much far behind compared to some others we have on our list. But what do you say? Well, for me, I think the cannons are quite a useful weapon, as we've seen even the most powerful characters like the Astro Toilets using it effectively. So, I'll say it still depends on the user. However, it also falls below the shield, since I don't think there's any arm cannon that can destroy a well-powered shield. Uh, I think the arm blasters should be placed higher. I mean, they're extremely potent. They've been used to perform insane feats, just like our Clock Titan. His blasters are quite broken as they could cause massive damage and even stop time in some cases. Also, Titan Cameraman has shown insane feats as well, as he clearly destroyed the entirety of the surrounding with a single shot, and I don't see an energy shield protecting you from time stop or such wide range attacks. But anyways, it's just my opinion. Yeah, that's valid, but there's more from where that came from. What do you guys think about the Speaker Titan's guitar? Oh yeah, now my boy gets the spotlight. I think we should place it in A tier since it's really cool. But seriously, the Rockstar's guitar is quite broken, as the sound wave intensity is just crazy. Just seeing what it did to Male Zero 2 proves it all. It's far better than the shield, but maybe in comparison to the blasters. But as it doesn't deal any physical damage, let's just say it's B tier. Oh, okay, but nah, sound waves ain't better than a shield. But how about you, Chief Clock? Yeah, you can say that again, Unique TV. The Speaker Titan's entry was just epic with his guitar, and the shockwaves are massive and inflict a lot of damage on the opponents, but I think very durable opponents would be resistant to shockwaves, like we saw with O1. But still, I think C tier. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that tank after the buff you just gave it. But in any case, I think C tier is kinda good. Or maybe B, to be honest. But I don't know. Let's hear your thoughts about this one in the comments. Alright, let's spice things up a little with Alpha's balls. It's not called Balls Unique Camera, it's an orb. How do you come up with such random ideas? Nah, it's called Balls, right guys? Anyways, these balls allow her to create a huge hole in space, and with this, she can summon or bring anything or anyone from a different place or dimension. Yeah, this one is a dimensional tool, so you know it's no joke. It can also be used to instantly teleport or transport yourself to a different place. And when it comes to attack, it has the power to use lightning-like energy to take down enemies. Now, I don't know if it moves at lightning speed, because if it does, then I don't see a lot of people evading it. It also has explosive capabilities, although I'm not really sure, but there should be a reason why the clock base exploded with purple flames, right? Yeah, a weapon that can open dimensions, shoot lightning, and can also cause explosions. Not to talk of the fact it also aids in fast transportation, or you could just simply use it to run away. Yeah, I'd give it B tier. But how about you guys? Nah, nah, bro. This should easily be an A tier weapon if you consider those feats. So I think it should be placed higher. It helps in a lot of ways, and also offensively as well. 
So why not? I mean, she used it to summon the Counter Titan. So I think it's A tier. A tier it is then. Okay, with all that cleared up, let's talk about another ball as well the counters balls. Due to its copy ability, I'll easily give it S tier, as not only can it use the ability that resided in the weapon it copies, it also possesses equal output as well. But you should know that the user has to get a sample first. It doesn't really matter though, that's the only drawback. Plus, the user uses it really well, so I guess that's why I picked an S. The counters orbs were too broken that it enabled him to defeat two very powerful titans in the multiverse. Maybe A tier. Come on guys, it's supposed to be higher. Either way, I think this should be S tier, as it's literally all weapons in one. All right, let's go S tier for counters balls. Okay, next up, machine guns. This one easily takes E tier, no doubt. Wait, I haven't even explained yet. You don't have to, easily E tier. I mean, it hasn't been used to do anything cool. Maybe if I'm considerate D tier, but in truth, E is perfect. Okay, that was fast. Next up, we're looking at the Astro Claw. Yeah, you may not be able to call this a weapon at first, but hear me out. It will make sense in a second. This claw allows its user to catch or hold energy-based power thrown at them and return it back with even more force. It has the option to take constant-based attacks and even instant ones as well. And the best part is, it doesn't matter how intense the energy thrown at it is, it would still be able to contain it without any problems. It has two metal sides that can also be used for grabbing purposes and has an inbuilt blade in it, which can come in handy sometimes. And to add the cherry on top, it has a little capability to manipulate gravity, as we saw from how he squashed the Skibidi Welder without physically touching him. Or maybe this was magnetic force, who knows? And yeah, why this is called a weapon is because Titan Cameraman is now using it. I don't have to go in-depth, you already understand, right? Now, a weapon that can reflect energy-based attacks, can be used for combat against Titans, possesses blades, can manipulate gravity or magnetic whatever. You know, Unique Camera is just trying to make this sound cool and all that. We all know this takes C tier, and that's that. I can't say for sure because the one in the multiverse is kind of different. Honestly, maybe B or C tier, as we don't know its full capabilities, but with its shown feats, it's getting a C. A C, huh? I see this weapon being useful than usual, but a C is valid. So let's move on to swords. Now, this one is really interesting, as despite being one of the most basic weapons in the fandom, the swords are insanely dangerous. As they grow or become much more powerful depending on their wielder, it has the basic function of a sword, which is to cut opponents. However, as mentioned, the user defines how powerful this weapon gets. Some are formed by the raw energy of the titans, while others simply add their energy type into it. Yeah, just like the shield, the user defines its potential. But it goes even further, as the sword can sometimes be a method in which the user manifests their power. So, how would we rank this one, guys? Alright, this is the one I've been waiting for. Like, really, we shouldn't talk much about this. The upgraded Camera Titan of the Wars series definitely shows us how it's done. Also, our TV daddy, who's the most skilled I've seen so far. With this, he was able to bypass the defense of Drill Titan, which still counts, considering the fact that Steve is among the top three most durable. Anyways, you get the point. The swords in Skibidi Toilet are ridiculous, so unique camera, it's an S tier. I think due to the fact Daddy Clock uses a sword as well, and we all know how broken it is in the multiverse, I mean, destroying the Counter Titan is no mere feat, so it's taking S tier for sure. Now I know you're gonna ask for Titan Cameraman's hammer and not to take any time, you should just put it at C tier, nothing more than that alongside Blades. Wait, what? I know, but don't you think that was harsh? Not really though, I mean, what's Blades gonna do to Titans, tickle them? The Clock Titan has blades, you know. Don't get me wrong, the blades are strong, but compared to the others, it doesn't get past that. Oh wow, what about the Axe of the Drill Titan? Did he even use that weapon? Now that's the spirit, Chief Clock. Hmm, I don't know, but it hasn't shown anything remarkable, so yeah, see with the others. Okay, now we get the Titan Killer from Skibidi Multiverse. It's a weapon that, just as its name, is supposedly able to kill Titans, which hasn't been the case even after multiple shots. However, the damage potential is ridiculous. In fact, it's the weapon with the highest AP on our list. Despite its inconsistencies, I'll still say it deserves S tier. How about you guys? Hmm, the Titan Killer. Well, this weapon is definitely taking S tier. I mean, just look at what it was capable of doing. The TV Titan literally raged from absorbing the energy from this, so why not S tier? Of course, I mean, that's a weapon that goes beyond the concept of damage itself. So why not? It sits with Counter's Balls 
And that's that. Phew, I'm glad we agreed easily on this one. We'll give it S tier. Okay, now let's not forget our favorite cinema titan with the boom box. The boom box is a rare weapon used by various characters in the show. It is very durable and has a variety of abilities it can perform, like generating sound waves that are potent enough to easily push away the upgraded camera titan. It's shown to have both defensive and offensive attributes as it casually deflects a critical hit from the Skibidi Mutant in episode 46, and can even generate enough force to stun and affect the TV Titan. Also, a version of it used by the scientist in the original series has the ability to store other powerful weapons, proving how versatile it can be. Yeah, with all that explanation, I'd say D would be decent. Honestly, to me, it isn't that impressive, but maybe C or D, in my opinion. I'd say C tier as well. And like I said, Plunger Man's Plunger gets E tier. And that is our list. Overall, I think the lesson we can learn here is that if the wielder of the weapon is powerful, then the potential of the weapon would be insanely high. And if the weapon is useful, you can always use it to run away. And also, Unique TV is very strict with his rankings. Wait, what? Like and subscribe, guys, because more videos are on the way.